my wind energy toys. Oh, did I remember to tell you that we were doing wind energy for school today? What have you been learning about wind energy? Well, there's wind and water energy. And, and sometimes people use wind and water energy at the same time. Like, for example, a sailboat. The, the wind is blowing the waves, making the boat move, and the wind is also blowing the sail at the same time. I like it. And uh, any other facts about water energy that you learned today? Got any special names for what you call water energy? Well, the province of BC is is mostly powered by water energy, um, which is called hydro, and staying for hydroelectric. Great. And what's that you're blowing there? This is a windmill I made. Great. And how do windmills get used for energy? Well, let me sit like this so you can see how it works. I blow right here. And that makes it move. Great. So if you had a really huge windmill, what are the, some of the things that it, that uh, that would be able to do? Grinding wheat. Great. Oh, and wow. Okay. Energy. Grind wheat. Make energy. Very cool. Great. And I noticed that you had something else there, too. Oh, this? Mm-hmm. It's my other project. It helps you know how much wind is blowing in your yard. Great. And, and um, goes through the little cups. Like oh, this. wow. Oh, wow, well, that works really well. Looks like you don't have to blow quite so hard to make that one move. Alrighty. And um, is wind energy... Oh, and I love the flag, too, with a cute cookie on it. So much blowing today. <laughs> and uh, final questions. Wind and water energy, good for the planet or not good for the planet? Good. Good. Do you remember the big, long, fancy word? What kind of a resource they are? Renewable. That's right. Do you know what that means? It means it's clean and that gets dirty and it can be filtered again. Well, yeah. There's lots and lots of wind and water, right? We can get lots and lots and lots of it. We don't run out of wind, usually. Never. Yeah. And, um... Any other uses for wind or water energy or any final thoughts today on science? Well, there's... A... Sit up. Look interested. Be excited. Well, there's river boats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peepees and poopoos. <laughs> I hear you repeating a conversation happening behind us. Okay, Sophia, let's finish this up. Great. So, final thoughts. Wind and water energy, river boats, renewable resource... Science is awesome. Oh, and we need wind for life. For um, life. Could I go get a uh, book of wind for life? No, but you can give just a couple of examples of how we use air energy every, in our everyday lives. Well, I have no idea what that's doing there, but we use it to, to dry our clothes on the clothesline. Yeah. And we actually use it with our uh, washing machines. And right. no, not the washing machines. Well, yeah, basically the washing machines and the dryer, because the washing machines, the water power, and the dryer is the air power. Wonderful. So we're using wind and water all the time, all different places. All right, sign us off with the final sentence. And that's our science video for today. Bye-bye.